my name is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California. And today I will be talking about how to design an experiment to uh, demonstrate Newton's third law of motion. So Newton's third law of motion can be summarized by the expression that every action results in an equal but opposite reaction or as an equation action equals minus reaction. So when designing an experiment what we would like to do is have number one very low friction because we only want uh, forces uh, to be our action and reaction and not the force of friction. And we have to somehow push two objects apart. So that would be our action and the reaction is uh, what happens when you push uh, an object apart. So I've designed two experiments uh, to demonstrate Newton's third law and I'm sure that you can think of your own. Uh, I have two, uh, well, gentlemen or ladies that are on surfboards uh, on water or, in, or skateboards on land and each of them is on a, sk a skateboard and they push against each other. Uh, now even if you have a weight on the uh, one skateboard this might be a more massive, have more mass on it, uh, there's going to be, in this case, an equal but opposite reaction after they push against each other. And the velocity that the uh, more massive skateboard takes on will be a little bit less uh, than the velocity that the lighter mass skateboard would have. And so it, it's this formula, the total mass times the velocity for the case one is equal to the total mass and velocity in the case two. You have to measure the weight of the person and the skateboard together. Another thing you can do to demonstrate Newton's third law is, again, a young gentleman or a young lady on a surf, on a, sorry, skateboard uh, with a basketball. And as soon as you throw the basketball, that would be your action. The reaction would be the movement of the gentleman or lady on the skateboard uh, in the opposite direction. And you can actually, uh, when you catch that basketball and you're on a skateboard, then what happens is by catching the, the ball, you have to slow the ball down. That's the action. And the reaction would be the catcher would also move in uh, the uh, original direction that the ball was moving but in the opposite direction of the force that he has to exert to, to catch the ball and stop it from moving. So passing the basketball between these two uh, gentlemen or ladies on skateboards would cause the uh, skateboards to move apart. So that's uh, probably a fun way to demonstrate Newton's third law of motion. Try it out, uh, but be careful. Uh, wear helmets. Thank you.